coming up tonight on Season Pass. Central and Odessa meet for the 51st time with huge district implications on the line. A showdown in District 14 2A Division 2 between El Dorado and Cristobal. Could some separation be made in District 2-3A Division 2? In six-man football, Sterling City was in a thriller with district opponent Westbrook. Water Valley looks to move up in the rankings. Top 20 showdown for the Bells volleyball team and the Rams football team looks to make it three in a row at home. Welcome to another edition of Season Pass. I'm your host, Ryan Campo. For week nine of the high school football playoff, or playoff season, we'll have some Angelo State Athletics, the NFL, a whole bunch more. Let's grab some popcorn, kick back. Let's have some fun for the next 30 minutes, shall we? Central Bobcats were in action Friday night against longtime rival Odessa Permian with huge district implications in District 26A on the line. The Bobcats in Odessa with Permian. Central has owned Permian winning five of the last six. Panthers won a year ago. Low scoring game over at Ratliff 10-7. Permian in the second half. Panthers strike first in the second half. That's a short field goal to make it 10-7. Bobcats not able to get the offensive going. Offense going on Friday night. Pass falls incomplete. Forces a central defensive stop to keep the game close later in the fourth quarter. Finally a touchdown. Rodney Hall jumps over the top. Mojo in front. They go on to win it 21-7. District 2-4A Division 1 and Lakeview would take the defending district champs to double overtime before falling to Fork Stockton 35-32. Our game of the week between 8th ranked El Dorado and Cristobal has determined the district champion in 14-2A Division 2 the past three years. Only time will tell if the district champ will be determined from this year's matchup. Let's head to the highlights. El Dorado and Cristobal looking to defend its territory in the first. Cristobal strikes first. Riley Workman touchdown. He goes to the outside. Cougars up at that point. Still in the first. Cristobal takes it right up the gut. Untouched for the touchdown. Cristobal again. Bo Jolly with the touchdown. That's a touchdown receiving pass, 20 to nothing. Cougars at that point. However, El Dorado would get on the board. Corbin Kovar Rubias to Caden Gonzalez, keeping it a close one there. It's 20 to 7. And then Cristobal's Bo Jolly on the receiving end of the deep ball. Cristobal with the big win Friday night, 46 22. Grape Creek is tied for first in District 2 3A Division 2. After upsetting Ballinger last week, the Brady Bulldogs played host. To the Eagles on Friday night, looking to keep pace for a chance at a share of a district title. Bulldogs hosting the Eagles on Friday night. The first Colton Walker takes the handoff, gets to the outside, and takes it all the way for six. Just like that, it's seven nothing. Grape Creek at that point. Just a minute later, though, Brady would respond right back. Hayden Barnett takes the line, extends, gets in for a touchdown to tie it up at seven. In the second, Dalton Dillon takes the handoff himself to the right side, forces his way in. 14-7, Grape Creek at that point. Still in the second, Zeke Jones gets the ball, goes in untouched to tie it at 14 apiece. Brady wins a, cl Brady, excuse me, wins a close one Friday, 34-27. District 2-3A Division 2, Sonora doubles up bangs, 50-25 to move 3-0 and remain in first place. Over in 14 2A Division II, Menard Yellow Jackets road trip into Miles to play the Bulldogs. Second place on the line in this one in the first direct snap to Isaiah Stanikolowski from five yards out. 6 0 Menard after the missed PAT. Miles responds right back. Haven Book follows his blockers. He's a smart man. Shows off his speed. He's gone. 7 6 Bulldogs at that point. Minute left in the quarter. Book to the air finds Elijah Sanchez, powers his way in. Rumbles, stumbles, fumbles his way into the end zone. 14-6 miles at that point. Midway through the second, handoff to Joel Guerrero, who makes a little shifty move at the line. He'd scored. That makes it a two-point game. However, just seconds later, Book on the run finds Keegan Riddle, who makes a spectacular catch and goes all the way to the end of the end zone. 21-12 at that point. Miles wins it 38-25. 14-2-8, District Division 2. Rock Springs sneaks by Junction 24 to 20. Let's go over to Mason. 
the punchers taking on Johnson City. Final drive, Ryan Clark, Ryan Todd, excuse me, from inside the five with a big yard, for, big run for the pu punchers. Todd gets fourth down and three to keep the drive alive. Gets the second effort, then Jaden Scantlin to give Mason a 26-21 lead late. And the icing on the cake, Johnson City quarterback would scramble, throw on the run, but his interception picked off by guess who? Ryan Todd. Mason holds off Johnson City 26-21 on Friday. Showdown in District 14, 2A Division 1, 6-0. Harper hosting 5-1. Mason, both teams 1-0 in district play. Ozona gets the back end of Brackettville 28-14. District 6-1A, Division 2, Lorraine shuts out Olefin 50 to nothing. And over the span of the decade, Wall is in 53, taking on TLCA. That one in the first quarter, Rumbles, stumbles all the way in for the touchdown against Breckenridge. That one, Dominic Garcia. Breckenridge, though, would respond Haskins to Richardson, that TD. Good for the Breckenridge Team right there. However, Wall just too much to handle. They hand the Buckaroos their first district loss, 29-26. Jim Ned hosting TLCA. Tate Yardley throws a 25-yard pass to Blaine Palmer. Takes it in all the way for a touchdown, 42-0 at that point. Later in the second on their own 42, Colt Lindsay hands the ball off. Sergio Hernandez runs it all the way in for a touchdown. That makes it 49 nothing at that point. And then the icing on the cake here. Hayden Carlson throws to Matt Hansen, who is brought down by Talon Farmer. Jim Ned wins big, though, Friday night, 70 to nothing. Coming up next on Season Pass, we continue our high school football review. Stick around, we'll be right back. Spooktacular savings have just kicked off at Funtown RV. Save thousands on your first travel trailer, fifth wheel, or toy hauler. Nobody beats our prices, and no one has a larger selection of towables than Texas' number one selling RV dealer. So find your next gateway to camping, tailgating, or spooky destination with hundreds of floor plans and dozens of manufacturers and brands to choose from. We've got an RV to satisfy any trick-or-treater's needs. Plus, now get even more for your trade-in and get into the RV you've been searching for. Shop us online or in-store at any of our 10 convenient locations. Funtown RV. The fun starts here. It's the live annual Veterans Day Parade, November 6th at 11 a.m. Watch the festivities on KLST or ConchoValleyHomepage.com. Sponsored by Concho Valley Door, CTWP, and Trans-Texas Southwest Credit Union. KLST, local veterans first. Have you mixed your pain meds, your sleep meds, your allergy meds? Call the Poison Helpline. Has your child swallowed household cleaner, a chip of paint, a wild mushroom? Call the Poison Helpline. Have you been bitten by a spider, a snake, an insect? Call the Poison Helpline. Poisonings can happen at the home, on the job, or in the great outdoors. Call the Poison Helpline first to speak with medical professionals who can give you free personal advice anytime. Save the number, save a life. You can't buy a best friend. You can love them, pet them, care for them, whether they want you to or not. You can take a picture, you can jump, yell, you can fly to the moon, travel the world, or just stay in bed. You can't buy a best friend like that, but you can adopt one. Cause we're connected. Boys and Girls Clubs are providing millions of meals to communities, child care to first responders, and virtual programming. We're doing whatever it takes to help families get through this crisis, but we can't do this alone. Visit bgca.org slash relief fund. Welcome back. Let's go to six-man football now, the second rank. Sterling City Eagles are looking to inch their way one step closer to a District 8-1A Division I title. They have to take care of business first. Big one, Westbrook, Sterling City. John Martinez running. That's a touchdown, and it's 32-0 Westbrook at this point. However, Cass Johnson would lead the barrage of the comeback. They get on the board there. It's 32-6 now. 
Another Westbrook touchdown, however, in the second. Martinez to Aiden Sullivan, 40 to 6. However, Sterling City would fight back in the second half, but they would fall 60 to 50. Big shakeup there in the state rankings for Monday. Another game in 8-1A on Friday. Robert Lee hosting Highland. First quarter steers strike first. Michael Munoz rolling around, makes a throw. He's got it going down, complete to Ivan Escamilla for the touchdown. Robert Lee leads 6-0. Highland, though, would respond. Court Sargent, no-look toss back to Bryson McGee. Splits the defense, touchdown Hornets. Highland takes the 8-6 lead. The Hornets take care of Robert Lee on Friday night. They win it 72-24. Fifth ranked Water Valley. Easy for me to say. Trying to keep rolling, hosting Eden. First quarter, Wildcats already up 8-0. Cannon Weiss makes a miss. 10-yard touchdown. Water Valley leads 16-0. Eden trying to get on the board after two touchdowns called back by penalties. Julian Gamboa finds Zane Evans. Dives in the pylon. That's a touchdown to cut the lead to 16-6. How about the Water Valley Wildcats, though? They'd start pulling away, and guess who? Weiss once again breaks a tackle. He wins the foot race. It's 22 6. Now, at that point in the second quarter, why stop? What's working? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's Weiss again breaking free. He's soaring down midfield. 40 yards, touchdown. Those Wildcats get another mercy rule win. 71 18. Wildcats will go for the district title next week against Paint Rock. Speaking of Paint Rock, they took on very best. And the Falcons would get the best of the Indians on Friday night, 25-14. Blackwell and Abilene TLCA meeting in District 6-1A. It was all Hornets on Friday night, 60-7. The other one from District 6-1A, Division 2, Trent Oliver Olfen, 52-7. Coming up next on Season Pass, we go from the gridiron to some area district volleyball. Highlights of those coming up next. Food King and Concho Valley Homepage would like to make your Thanksgiving a lot easier this year with the Turkey Day giveaway. Go to ConchoValleyHomepage.com slash contest and enter before November 16th for your chance to win $250 for your Thanksgiving. The Turkey Day giveaway is sponsored by Food King. It's time for a talk. If you're 45 or older, you need to get yourself screened for colon cancer. This disease can be very treatable when caught early, so the sooner you know what's up with your health, the better. The good news is, is that there's options for getting screened that are easier than you think. Get informed. If you're a man or a woman, 45 or older, take control. Get screened for colon cancer. Standuptocancer.org slash colon cancer. We all come together and stand together to serve our veterans. We invest in the latest technology. We take the time to train the next generation of doctors and nurses. We work together to make sure we heal their bodies and their minds. This is our mission. More than 300,000 of us working as one, together with families and loved ones. No matter where they live in this country, we'll be there. We stand strong, united. Stand with us in caring for our veterans. We may be thousands of miles apart, but we can still walk together. When we connect, we make things better. We connect millions of children around the world with what they need to grow up healthy, educated, and safe. Join us. Walk with us today at childfund.org. I send him a text. He texts me back and say, who dis? <laughs> <laughs> the next few weeks, you just made fun of me, like would answer the door and say, who dis? Who dis? <laughs> Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. Welcome back. District play in high school volleyball coming to an end. This playoff picture is becoming more and more clear. Some big matchups earlier this week for playoff standings. First up in District 6 3A, second place Wall, fourth place TLCA. This one all Lady Hawks third set. Wall started on fire. Cameron Williams gets the easy kill there. Next play a bit off. A bit of a frenzy. Brooke Lear ends up smacking it down for the Lady Hawk point. Wall opened it on a 10-1 run. TLCA, 
A eventually got moving here. Lillian Sanchez gets it past the wall defense. Few plays later, Camille Massey on the serve. That's an ace, A-C-E-E. -E. Who do we love? Lady Eagles cut the lead to six. Lady Hawks would put together another run to close out the set. Lear taps it over. Then Lear again showing off her hops. Hangs it in the air. Another soft tap over the point. Set point now. Lear again, this time putting it down off the set of Corbin Herring. Wall takes the set 25-10. They improved to 7-1. and one. They need to beat Jim Ned for next week for a shot at the district title against Clyde. Miles visiting Bronton District 7-2A. Opening set, Miles trailing. File this under whatever works. Bront working hard to get it across. Emily Skillnart bumps it over for the no man's land kill. Lady Bulldogs looking for the tie regain. Ra Reagan Smithwick gets it over to Jessica Hines, gets the block. We're tied up at seven, just like that. Later in the set, Miles leading Allie Kalina sets up Hens for the powerful kill. Miles sets up set point. They would sweep the Lady Longhorns in straight set. Miles inches closer to clinching a playoff spot. They win it 3-0. Water Valley hosting Cornerstone. Christian in non-conference action. First set, Lady Lions up. Piper Bodden sets up Riley Clements for the kill. Cornerstone would lead by seven at that point. Set point in the first, Water Valley's Emery Sears can't keep that one in bounds. Cornerstone takes the first set. And we go to the second. Cornerstone still rolling. Abby Harrison gets the touch. Clements pushes it into the corner for the point for Cornerstone. Set point now for Cornerstone in the second. Harrison gets the kill. Cornerstone up two sets to none. Lady Lions finished off the sweep in the third. Cornerstone knocks off Water Valley. Coming up on Season Pass, we check out the Angelo State Athletics, the week that was for them. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Veterans Day is here, and at Trend Furniture, we're ready with four years no interest. And we have worked hard to have brand new selections just for you, ready to be in your home. At Trend Furniture, it's all arrived just in time, just for you. Come to Trend Furniture and take advantage of the four years no interest on all new sofas, all new bedrooms, and all new furniture throughout the store. So all new styles just for you at Trend Furniture, ready to be in your home instantly. Hurry before it's all gone. Trend Furniture across on Sunset Mall, 4002 Wellington. Right now, when you order a brand new Ford at Jim Bass Ford, this is actually what will happen. You get exactly what you want. Your order goes to the top of the list. You get an additional $1,000 just because you ordered, and you get a free Yeti cooler. So come to Jim Bass Ford and start your order today. Jim Bass Cars and Trucks, Houston Heart and Arden Road, or shop 24-7 at BassBunch.com. Does your Halloween costume look like an experiment gone wrong? Ugh. You're welcome. Luckily, there's a solution. Let's roll! Simply find a Goodwill store near you. <laughs> My favorite. Inside, you'll find all the materials you'll need to create a one-of-a-kind costume. <laughs> Be unique. Visit goodwill.org slash Halloween. That's grand. Then see the Adams Family 2 in theaters October 1st. I've got decorations. I've got yummy sweets. Then Concho Valley homepage is where you need to be. If you're decorating or giving out candy, go fill out our form and be added to our trick-or-treat map only on the CVHP holiday homepage. Wherever you see a flower, a bird, a beautiful tree, know that my love is with you as you bring our colorful stories to the world. Make the forest part of your story at a park near you. Find one at discovertheforest.org. The Angelo State football team earned an important conference win last week, defeating UT Permian Basin to move to 5-2 and two on the season. Yesterday, they took on an opponent for just the second time in program history. They welcomed in Simon Frazier to a packed LeGrand Stadium. In the second, Rams up 15-3 following a safety. Alfred Greer takes the kickoff, goes 90 yards untouched, and it's 23-3 at that point. We go to the second half. Zach Bronkhorst. Calls his own number on the QB sneak for the touchdown to extend it to 30-3. to And as the time would expire in the third, Bronkhorst goes to the air. Kellen Pichot, welcome to the show, who reels in the 34-yard pitch and catch. Angelo State gets their third win in a row at home. 
51-10 the final. The Angeles State Volleyball team found themselves in unfamiliar territory after suffering their first loss in Lone Star Conference play on Friday, but would have a quick turnaround bounce back hosting UT Tyler Saturday. Top 20 showed on, the, on Saturday afternoon. Bell's hosting the Patriots. Bell's off to a hot start right out of the gate. Elsa Lamb fear with the powerful kill. It's 7-1 at that point. Still in the first. You take points how you can get them. Just ask Bailey Allen, who instead of going right hand, she goes left hand. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And she can do it on defense and offense. Bailey there with the block. ASU cruising in the first set. More from the Bells and McKenna Hansen with the ace. How about that? Placing it right behind the Patriot defense. The icing on the cake. Kaylin Gilbreth with the hammer spike with the left hand. Bells take the first set 25 9. Get back in the win column with the win 3 to 1. Speaking of their loss, they fell 3 at home on Friday night to Texas AM Commerce. Following their first road conference victory of the season, the Bells were back home hosting UT Tyler. This being soccer and supporting some pick jerseys for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Just four games left in the regular season for the Bells. In the first half, Bells with a number of chances. However, they can't find the back of the net. The game remains scoreless until in the second. Caitlin Heiss on the attack. She's taken down inside the box. That would later force a penalty kick, as you see right there. She gets knocked down. Valerie Solis. The beneficiary of the penalty kick, she would double up the ASU lead 2-0. Bells win two in a row. Coach McCorkle would also get career win number 200. ASU soccer team went on the road. As I mentioned, they picked up their win. That was 1-0. Gabby Villagran's 48th minute goal off the corner kick. Now it's time for compo crazies from the past week. The wild, the outrageous, the oh my goodness moments of the week. And Halloween, just a week away, Washington State head coach Mike Leach gave us his thoughts on candy following their victory on Saturday night. We talked about on the broadcast how you hate candy corn. What's your favorite Halloween candy? candy? corn. I mean, I completely hate candy corn. Um, <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, well, gummy bears, let's see. Uh, gummy bears for sure. Sour or regular? Uh, um, the, the, the hair bow. It's got to be the hair bow ones. And then uh, the other thing I like is uh, is when they used to have the, the uh, sprees in a box. Outstanding. You have to go to the dollar store to find it, but I do. And then the latest, the, the latest, you know, there's still candy innovation, although a while back I found that Europe had better candy than we did overall because <laughs> they have gummy everything. And then, uh, but... Uh, um, the, uh, you know, they have those Nerds Clusters, which is new. Just the gummy. Yeah, which is good. The Nerds Clusters is good. And then if you go chocolate, uh, probably Almond Joy. Love it. Hopefully you'll get some of that next week. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We talked about on the broadcast how you hate candy corn. What's your favorite? In the Monday night game, check out the awareness of Julio Jones with the bounce off the helmet there and keeps his two feet in bounds for the catch for the Tennessee Titans. We stay in the NFL. Giants quarterback, not really good at throwing it, so why not try catching it? Catches it one-handed and then gets smoked, but is able to keep corral of that one for the big gain on the play. And how cool is this? The slug says it all. I love you, mama. Young man from Florida Atlantic. How does he celebrate after getting his first interception? Gives the ball to his mama. There's nothing more sweet about that. History was made Saturday afternoon in college football. Nine overtimes, and it wasn't like a 75-70. This was a 2018 game. Illinois would upset Penn State by two points. We go to the ice. Matthew Kachuk tries to keep the puck in play, not allow a teammate to get a delay of game penalty. Shows off his great hand-eye coordination, but eventually would find himself in the penalty box for a two-minute minor for what he did on that play. And during a timeout, this is what I hope to do someday, make a half-court shot, and then, you know, walk home with 20K. Banked in the shot, got a favorable roll, and also get some nice uh, hug there from the mascot, Rumble. Next. Coming up on Season Pass, we take a look back on the week that was for the Houston Texans. All that coming up more next.
on a suspicious Fansville by Dr. Pepper. Howdy, Logan. Wonder if you can help me out with something. Sure, Sheriff. Looking for a couple of goalposts. Went missing after the big win last night. What? That's awful. Who would steal a goalpost? Say, that is a nice new swing set you got there. Oh, this old thing well, makes the boy happy, I guess. Interesting design. Oh, yeah, it's Scandinavian. You know what? You should check the streakers across the street. They have a very suspicious new antenna. Thanks for the tip. Anytime, Sheriff. Dr. Pepper, the one fans deserve. Hi, I'm Mike with MGB, Mike's Gold Buyers. Gold and silver prices are terrific, which means more money for your gold, silver, and diamonds. Come to MGB and you'll say, I sold gold and I like Mike. On Avenue in by Angelo State. B&B House Leveling can handle all your commercial and residential foundation needs. Give us a call at 653-7757 or go to the Contra Valley homepage and click on our Experts tab. The matchup is now set in the World Series, and a familiar face is in the Championship Series. Houston Astros are going to the World Series after defeating Boston in Game 6 of the ALCS Thursday night, excuse me, at Minute Maid Park. Houston, which has now won three pennants in the last five years, took the best of seven series, 4-2. to two. They'll take on the Braves, Game 1 on that one, Tuesday night. Now it's time for our KLST Player of the Week. It's a player who played a crucial role in his team's upset victory over number eight, El Dorado, on Friday night. Bo Jolly, Holly Jolly Christmas. It's a couple months away, but this week he's our Player of the Week, coming up with two touchdowns on Friday night for Cristobal in their win. That moves them to 3-0 in District 14, 2A Division II. Control their own destiny with just two weeks remaining. Player of the Week is sponsored by Linda's Pond. That leads us to our Dr. Pepper Trivia Challenge about last week, the Coke County rivalry. First time Robert Lee and Bront was played, was it 1904, 1921, 1927, 1935? If you guessed C, you are correct. And congrats are in order to Amy Lavaro. She got it right. Make sure to head on over to ConchoValleyHomePage.com to enter each and every week. This week's matchups are, will feature big district title and playoff implications, including Midland Legacy versus Central and District 2-6A. Bobcats are looking to move one step closer to securing a playoff spot. Meanwhile, District 2-3A, Division 2, Grape Creek hosts first place Sonora. Eagles are just a game back of the Broncos. Then in six-man, Eden plays Paint Rock. Erie and County plays very best. The Bulldogs and Hornets both looking for wins ahead of their Week 11 matchup. That'll do it for this episode of Season Pass. You can check out all of our content on ConchoValleyHomePage.com and go ahead and follow us on Twitter at, ha at KLST Sports. Make sure to use the hashtag SeasonPass to stay in the conversation. We'll see everyone next week. Have a good night.